Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is a special request video um, from one of my subscribers and she wanted me to do a video to see how the regular lacquers in the Wave Gel um, Gel Lacquer Duos um, went, app applied. <laughs> So I'm doing that. So um, let's get into the video. Let me show you how those apply. For this demo, I'm going to use Wave Gel's um, Purple Pepper. And I'm going to use the matching lacquer to see how it applies. I already have OPI's um, base coat on my nails. And now we'll just apply the Purple Pepper. seems to apply just kind of like a normal <laughs> normal regular nail polish it's, um not too thick not too thin applies very nicely okay i'm going to let this first coat dry and then we'll come back and we'll do a second coat there's something wrong with that first finger because the second finger actually applied um, really good. Let's try, I want you to see, see this. There we go. I mean, that just glides right on really smooth. I don't know why it kind of, it's a little streaky or whatever on that first finger. It's not something to do with the um, base coat or something. I don't know. But this, yeah, this applies really actually good. Super good. I love this. I'm going to go in for a second coat. This kind of looks like it dries into like a satin, mattish thing. Mostly satin. It's not real shiny, but that's okay because, you know, most of the time you put a shiny top coat on. So that's just kind of interesting. I actually have never used um, the regular la lacquers. I kind of always meant to do my toes for the past year, <laughs> and I haven't done that. So, um and so we'll just apply this. It goes on really nice. No streaking or anything. I don't know what's going to happen with this finger because there's something wrong with that finger. <laughs> no idea what. The second coat of this seems to be going on better than whatever the heck was wrong with that one. And we'll just do this one. So we'll let this dry and then we'll come back and we will put a top coat on it. Okay, so here we go. Still sort of satiny. I don't know if all of them are like that or if it just might be this one for some reason. Um, but I like to top off my polishes with Sash Feet. And that is a quick, dry, super shiny top coat. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Oops, <laughs> let me get that bottle open. I used to use this all the time when I used regular lacquer. I completely love this. And you're supposed to put um, sash feet on when your nail polish is still a little on the wet side. So um, I don't have this, this hasn't dried completely. There we go. I think we're getting just about a good high gloss shine, even though it's not the gel. Hmm, that's really pretty. I'm liking how that looks. Okay, so I'm going to um, finish up the rest of my nails and then we'll let it dry and I'll come back for the finished look. 
There we go. This is um, dry. Oh, this is completely stunning. I love how it looks. Um, so anyway, it's the, the regular lacquer um, that comes with the wave gel. You can use it on your toes. You can use it, you know, maybe if you have a younger girl in the house that you don't want to put gel nail polish on. Um, you can use that if you want to go out, you know, well, I don't know how really quick because you got to wait for your nail polish to kind of dry. But maybe you just want to put on some regular nail polish to get it off really quick because maybe you just want it to be on there for, you know, one or two days. So that's what it's good for. And then it's good for your toes, which you know, I'm going to paint my toes this summer. <laughs> um so let, let's check out another one because now I'm curious to see if they all have a satin look or if it was just this one. So we'll try out one more. Okay, next I'm going to use Jazzy tonight. This is one of my favorite purples. Uh, I haven't used the real, regular polish, so let's try this out. Okay. There we go. Wow, look at this. It just glides right on. Very beautiful. So funny because I'm used to, you know, gel nail polish kind of sticks to the tacky layer of the base coat. And again, I have the OPI base coat on my fingers. I'm obsessed with using a base coat because I do not like nail staining at all but that's looking really good that's great coverage on that first coat actually both of them have been two coaters so that's pretty awesome because nobody likes to be painting their nails forever and waiting for it to dry because you do actually have to wait for the first coat to dry and then the second coat if you just wait like i don't know a few minutes to five minutes then you can put that um, the fast drying top coat over it. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my fingers and then wait for this to dry and we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, this one appears to have stayed shiny, so it must have been just that that color that um, turned a little satiny. Okay, so now we'll put the second coat on. I just love this purple. This is like one of my most favorite polishes. Okay, I'll let you see one more. Okay, this looks good. So I'll finish up the nails and then we'll come and we'll put on um, the sash feet top coat. So now we're ready for a nice shiny sash beat. This stuff really shines up nail polish. Oh. <laughs> I haven't said enough how much I love this top coat. Gosh, I haven't wore regular nail polish in so long. So when that um, is dry, I'll come back and we'll take a final look. Okay, here we go. All nice and shiny, easy to apply. I like the regular lacquer. It's very nice. So I hope you like it too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.